Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and this is Red Tape. Yeah, this is a horror game that is by Polaris Studios. I don't think I have played a game by them before. Uh, it's published by Dread XP. Thank you to them for sending me a code over on Twitter. Yeah, you should follow me on Twitter. I don't really use it that much anymore, but still, you should. <laughs> yeah, uh, this game is about exploring nine levels of corporate hell as you work to clear your name uh, with the devil and restore a balance between heaven and hell. Sick. Let's do it. I love the Be Not Afraid rendition of the angel. And this guy. A little cutie. Let's do it. I haven't played this before, so let's go. When an angel falls... It can be very disorienting. Huh? But don't worry, we're here to help. <laughs> that Richard Nixon's face. <laughs> Just remember, these uh, these tips, with these rules, follow your boss's commands. And don't question authority. Be productive. Sick. Work as if your life depends on it. And help others. Hey, help me torture this guy! It's hard, just remember. Doom. Oh. <laughs> Don't be lazy. Obey your masters. Offer your help. Maintain organization. Work well, you're in hell. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. Hi, Virgil. Uh, okay, how's the... There we go. Um... Can I leave? I was trying to find an immediate exit. But I think I'm just stuck here. Oh, the TV, now the TV is broken again. Flimsy old thing. Huh? Where am I? What am I doing here? Oh, that would be answered in the video. Who are you? Well, let me try to fill you in. Hello, my name is Virgil, and you're in hell. What? But I'm an angel. I can't be here. Technically, not anymore. What do you mean? You fell. Just like, like, trip? It can't be. I was in heaven, and everything went dark, and... Well, you must have uh, got the Game Master really pissed. The Game Master? Not only did you fall, you marked high priority. But this ain't right. I need to talk to someone. I don't belong here. Oh, you new demons always say that. When you were betraying the Game Master, you didn't think about the consequences, did you? I never betrayed him, capital H. And I'm not a demon. Well, I have no say in this. I'm only here to help you in your adaption. Adaption? Adaptation. Process. The thing is, you were an angel. You fell, and now you're in Hell Inc. Employee. Now you're, oh, okay. Now you're a Hell Inc. employee. Who is this guy? Do I know him? Uh, I think that's all the video said. This is not right. Well, keep your uh, protest to yourself. What you need to do is lose the angel form and be a registered demon. I don't want to. I want to talk to your superior. And you will. But you need to do as I say first. And what is that? To start, you need to leave this room and follow the corridor until you get to the registration room. I'm kind of dropping his voice. <laughs> okay, but this ain't over. I'm sure it isn't. Okay, be registered. Uh, let's see, you just have to Urger it and Emar, and they'll help you get registered and get a physical form. Okay.
checking all the paintings and seeing if I can just interact with anything. Ooh. Fraud, volume one. <laughs> Does this teach me how to be a fraudster? Oh, and they have a holy Bible down here. A holy Bible for kids. So you mean just the holy Bible? Oh. Recycling. Okay. Work. Don't stall. Hello? Can I open these? <gasps> oh, sick! This is dope! So I am this thing. Neat. Can I fly out of here? So he said I had to ditch the angel form, so I guess I need to find a devil form. Damn it. Hey! I actually have a tattoo of Onis on my thigh. One's red and one's blue. <laughs> hey, you must be here to get a demon name, right? I guess so. Actually, I want to talk uh, to the boss of this place. You probably want to talk to the director. You can't do that without a name, can you? I'm pretty sure I can. No, you can't, silly thing. Now, be a nice name and then create a name for yourself. Remember, it must be very devilish and scary. Okay. Uh, whoa! Okay, um... Mr. Craven. Okay, since you have a name now, you only need a physical form. You can get that with Emar. Like, are they, it's like, Reem? No? Okay. I was like trying to read it backwards. Like, do, do their names mean anything? At the table across from me. Okay. <laughs> I love the voice acting. She's like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, hey there. You must be, must be here to get your demonic form, right? No, I'm an angel. Not anymore, you aren't. Now you're a demon, and you must look like one. This form of yours is too abstract. My head hurts. <laughs> but I need to talk to your superior here. First, get this physical form. Then, you can talk to him. Oh, sick. So I'm just, like, constantly giving, like, the, the power sign. Okay. Hi, Virgil. Projector, uh... I don't have any items. I'm just doing the fist pump? Hell yeah. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, WAC to move. Work well, you're in hell. Explore the map and have a nice day at work. Okay. Nice! <laughs> It's so good to see you nice and registered. How do you like your new demon form? I hate it. I want to talk to your superior now. You can do that now. Just walk across the hall and enter the door on the right. You can't miss it. I'm going to fix this misunderstanding once and for all. Welcome to your new job. I love that. Oh, I want to go look in the mirror. I want to see what my hell form looks like. Red tape. Nice. Read what these say. Fountain? It's a nice fountain. There's some coins at the bottom. Okay. Uh, do I need to like drain the fountain somehow? Oh, what up? Is that Plato? Oh no, it's Aristotle. <laughs> His name's right there. <laughs> Lol. What do you got? What have you been reading? I oh, can't read that. All right. Not the paper. Why? How can I help? Hey, I'm new here. I'm an angel. Not the paper. Wow, that's cool. I guess. I want to know how I can get out of Not here. You can't. You're stuck here. We're all stuck here. You don't seem happy about it either. 
I'm not. I hate it here. I hate this job. I've been here for more than a thousand years. That's sad. Yeah, I get used to sadness. Okay then, where's the director's office? It's behind you on the left. Thanks. See ya. Huh. He follows me. Also, nice pants, dude. Abandon hope, all ye who enter. Ah, oh, so good. Okay, can't call the elevator. Hmm. Hey, buddy. <gasps> Little ducky? Feels bub. What's up, bub? Hey there! You must be the new kid. Your name is Mr. Craven, right? Yeah, I think so. So, what are your expectations for working in hell? None. I'm not working here. I'm an angel. Oh, I see. You're a demon. <laughs> You're in demon denial, right? No, because I'm not a demon. I didn't deserve to fall. Look in my eyes, my friend. Do you think anyone here deserved to fall? The demons of hell are hardworking. I bet they work 100 times harder than any angel you know. You think you don't deserve hell? It's hell that doesn't deserve you. <laughs> but I didn't betray anyone. Wait, that was my, uh, sorry, that, but I didn't betray anyone. It doesn't matter. You're here now, and there's no way to go but down. Which means that if you play by hell's rules, you might be promoted and get a better position here. But why would I want a better position for, uh, but what would a better position do for me? Well, your current position is as a Low-level employee. If you want to get uh, similar or more power than you had as an angel, you must earn it. You have a good career here, kid. You only have to work for it. And how can I do that? Well, that's what I was going to tell you. As your first task, it'd be good for you to know your way around hell. Explore a little bit. Do this, go to the... Do this, go to the sector's floors and talk to the directors. See what kind of help they need. This sector? Yeah, this floor and the next two. Not that you would be able to access others with the permissions you have now. What do you mean? There's a magic seal in the elevator that keeps you from accessing the floors that your role doesn't have permission to go to. Or for now, you won't have to think about it. Just go back and talk to Virgil and the directors to, uh, of the second and third floors. Did you get all that? I think so. Oh, so I have to get a letter, letter of recommendation. Okay. Uh, Okie dokie, when you talk to them and help them, ask them to sign this letter of recommendation. Then bring it back to me, all right? Okay. Your future at the company is will be bright, kid, believe me. All right. Be registered, uh, task done. I need to go get new task. Bills was promotion. Cute. Uh, let me get some water really quick. Not from the actual fountain. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to Virgil first. Hey there. Did hell already sink in? <laughs> no. I'm still going to find a way to prove my place isn't here. You new demons. It's always a delight to talk to you. So what can I do to help? Seems like I need to help you and get your signature on this recommendation letter. Can I help you in any way so you can sign this? No, you've already done enough for me uh, with your tantrum <laughs> to show me this letter of yours and I'll gladly sign it. Okay. Yo, oh, thanks, dude. You're welcome. Come visit me once you get used to this place. Okay. Um, hey buddy in blue. Oh, you have a name and a form, uh, and a form and something to do. Now go, be a demon, good luck. Oh, okay, so I'll need to actually talk to these guys. Cool, let's go to the elevator. This is cute, I like this. Um, boop. Dope. 
This looks really good. Okay, uh, let's go to floor two. Damn, fast ass elevator. Oof, what? Foca? <laughs> Can't use the computer. Damn. Hello. What's a demon got to do to get some alcohol around here? Sorry, kid, we ain't open yet. Check back some other time. Okay, see ya. Uh. Who are you? Hello. Narcissus? Hey, I need to see the manager of the of this department. He must be the new kid. As you can see, the heads of this department are currently indisposed. You may answer to me for your tasks. Fine, but if I do, can you sign this letter of recommendation for me? If you do your job, then maybe I will. What should I do then? Let's start with something simple. Something even you can handle. Uh, make me a copy of this duck. It's impossible to screw this up. Oh, I can try. I'll figure something out. No worry. Hi! <laughs> Just shut up already! I hate you so much! Oh, it's very mutual! Uh, hello? Go to hell! We already in hell, you stupid idiot! <laughs> they don't even notice me. Okay. Um. Hmm. So I can't go behind the desk. Oh, hi. Cleopatra. She seems absorbed. Better not bother her. Damn. Still got it. Edlu? Who's talking to them now? Okay. Uh, where's your coffee machine? There's coffee. Could go for some coffee. Not right now, though. Okay. Oh, here's a coffee machine. Crap. This one's not working. Of course. Hello? Samson. No time to chat. Need to make a copy. Okay. Okay, got it. Here you go. Finally. Let me see. Oh my god, I was wrong. You saw somehow managed to screw this up. This is the worst copy I have ever seen. Nope, do it again. I can't accept this. Faster this time. I don't have all day. Okay. Uh, do you have a copy machine? Yeah. Hair trimmer? Sick. Crap, this one's not working. What the fuck? Fix all your shit. Okay, so I can't even interact with them. Hi. Cupid? <gasps> Adorable. Are we gonna use the same copy machine? This isn't gonna work. Give me that. Wow, a five-year-old can make a better copy. Just wow. You know what? Forget it. I'll have Samson do it. I'm honorary head of department, not intern babysitter. Damn. Go see if anyone else needs anything. I don't care. Okay. Later, Hosen. How about you? Work. Oh, sweetie. What am I? A peasant? Never done any work in my life. Not gonna start now. What are they gonna do? Fire me? Kill me? 
don't think either of the other these is gonna work. I was gonna try to shave her head. <laughs> Are you open yet? Uh, okay, not open. Let's go talk to Cupid. Uh, Narcissus? Narcissus? Is giving you a rough time, huh? How'd you know? He's been giving everyone a rough time. Ever since he got himself the role of honorary head of department. More like, stole himself that role. I'm Cupid, by the way. Wait, the real Cupid? The god of passionate desire? What are you doing here? Well, Christianity is pretty popular nowadays. They're not a big fan of desire and erotic love. Can't you fix the whole situation? Use your bow and arrow to make the bosses fall madly in love again? I could. Someone stole my bow, though. Probably that Cleopatra. She's had it out for me since day one. I'll see what I can do. Is my green screen still peeking a little bit? Uh, nah, that's good. Um, let me go ahead and stop this video and check it. Oh, all right. Um, let's talk to you. Looking for work, babe? Aw. We can get a lot of work done together. Sorry, not the kind of work I'm looking for. Damn. Been in hell for all of, like, five minutes. Already getting some extra hustle on the side. Hey, buddy. Over on the uh, another 300 copies. I hope they're good enough for Narcissus. Hey, what you doing? Wouldn't want to redo them again. Hey, buddy, can I shave your head? Over on the hey, what you doing? He has luscious hair. Cupid's bow? Why would I want that dreadful old thing? I've had a lifetime of precious artifacts, honey. Unlimited riches. Petty thievery? It's not my style. But I heard a juicy rumor. That Ardat has been acting quite suspicious. Okay. That's you, right? Hello. I know that you stole Cupid's bow. Aw, you found me out. Are you going to arrest me? Put me in handcuffs? Slam me against the wall? Please stop. Just give it back. I really need it. Oh, I don't have it. What? What you said? Come on, babe. We're just playing, weren't we? Unless you really want to cuff me up. Slam me against the... Okay, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> you got any leads for me? Who might have stolen the bow? Ugh, Killjoy. I don't know. Idlu seems like he'd do something like that. Maybe he did it. I don't care. Okay. Damn, girl. Uh, that's the dude that was in this room, right? Please tell me you have Cupid's bow. Hello, hello. Who the hell is Cupid? Uh -huh. And who the hell are you? Hello, hello. Sorry, but someone as great as me. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, okay. Just send me to the next person. Uh huh. huh. Hello, hello. Samson was looking for a. Bit, uh, was looking a bit on edge lately. That's good enough. I'll talk to him. Okay, hey, buddy. Samson, do you know who has Cupid's oh, bow? I know. Okay, well, do you have any other... Wait, you know who has it? I do. But I won't tell you. Why not? It's none of your business. What are you going to do about it, little one? I already told you I'm not. <laughs> uh, sorry. Why did. Why did you do this? This. This is a nightmare. Oh my god. Narcissus will never look at me again. Oh my god. He cares so much about looks. And I'm a bald mess. You actually like that guy? I've been in love with him since I got here. Hey, what you doing? I thought you'd know that already. Gossip runs wild on this floor. Yeah, I'm kind of new here. If I may ask, though. 
What the hell do you even see in that guy, anyway? I admire his confidence. Uh, he's a man who knows what he wants. He's very smart and incredibly cultured. He's also crazy hot. <laughs> he used to be kind, too. But since this whole honorary head of department thing happened, I've been making copies all day. Why does he need so many copies? And why is he so picky about them? It's literally just a copy. I've been doing everything for him. He didn't even thank me, not even once. He didn't even care that I kept his secret. What secret? He stole Cupid's bow. He didn't want them to reunite the bosses. Don't tell him I told you that. I'm tired of doing favors for him. I won't keep his stupid secret anymore. Okay. So now that we know that, uh, we can go confront him. Okay, so I can't get booze. Is the bow around here somewhere? Like, can I just like find it? What? <laughs> oh, it's the intern again. What'd you manage to screw up this time? I know you have the bow. Give it up. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I used to have time for ridiculous office gossip, back when I was a lowly employee like you. Now I have more important things to take care of. Now scram! I love that word. I want to be in a position of power someday where I can just tell by somebody to fucking scram. Beat it, kid. Hit bricks. <laughs> uh, go find something actually useful to do. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's go talk to Cupid again. I'm really close to finding out who stole your bow. Uh, oh. So, that just repeats that. Also, I bit, like, the back of my tongue somehow earlier today. So every time I talk, it's just like, ow, ow, ow. So... It'll grow back. It'll grow back. Um. Sign my letter, bitch. Stay away from me. Okay. Okay. Hey, can I borrow your mirror? Why do you... Actually, I get it. You look awful, honey. Like, absolutely terrible. I can't even look at you. Here, honey. You can have it. Be sure to bring it back. Okay, let's have a mirror. Okay. I was hoping that I could show him... See, you're so beautiful. Okay, no coffee. Uh, who wants this mirror? Oh my god, what now? Oh, what do we have here? Who is this handsome devil? Oh, the things I do to you. Do you have the bow? Huh? Yeah. Can I have it back? Yeah, sure, whatever. Can't you see I'm busy here? Cute. Now where were we? Oh, right. I was thinking about how beautiful you are. Okay. Go give it to Cupid? My bow! Oh, how I missed you. Did you break up their bicker? Oh, shit. Okay. It's okay. I give you my permission to use the bow of passion. Okay. So let's go... Turn this in. <laughs> Maybe if it weren't so freaking stupid, you would, uh, 
Wh why do you look so freaking hot right now? I, what were we even talking about? I have absolutely no idea. Do you wanna... right here? Hell yeah. Hey, uh, whoa! <laughs> Sorry to interrupt! <laughs> Can I get your signature on this letter of recommendation? I'm really trying to get promoted. Sure, whatever. Show me this letter. Okay. Uh... Yeah! Aw, cute! They have little hearts on them. Now to stay away from this office for the next six hours or so. We're gonna be busy with some very important work. Also, please give the bow back to Cupid. I don't trust you running around with something like that. Okay. Can I shoot you with it? Oh my god, I hate you so much right now. You gave my precious mirror to that freak narcissist. Do you have any idea how much that costs? Here's a little hint. It costs more than your soul. That's what I get for being a good person. Try to help others. I should be in heaven, and all of you should just rot in here forever. Okay. See ya. Here we go. Did you do it? Yeah? Finally. Some peace and quiet. You can work in peace. You do know that we don't uh, do any work around here, right? I thought you picked up on that by now. I had my suspicions. Here's your bow, by the way. Office gossip. So, still no booze, still no coffee. But I think I'm done here, so let's go up to the next floor. Yeah, there's certain words whenever I say them, it's like, ow, 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 ow. Garbage? Oh shit, hi. <laughs> Glog. Who goes there? Hi, I'm the new employee. Don't come too close, or I'll take your blood. Unfortunately, I'm a demon. I have no blood for you. Sorry. Oh, okay. Do you know where this floor's chief is? Oh, the cook. He's in the kitchen. When you see him, tell him I'll never work for him again. Oh, okay. Sir who? Uh, Gilyami? Gilyami? Uh, hello, demon. Hello. Do you know where I can find the manager of this floor? Must be talking about the cook. He's in the kitchen. Thanks. All right, see ya. And there's a lot of people in here. <gasps> Blood. Mr. Hemsworth. Hello, fine demon. How are you today? Hey there. I'm doing fine. How about you? How about you? My day is not going well as yours, I'm afraid. Why is that? Oh, but it are. Me and my sinful colleagues have decided to put up an end to the cook's tyranny once and for all. We are on strike. Oh, what'd he do to you? He's a despot. He keeps bossing us around and thinks we have no right to speak up. Well, now he'll see. Okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, don't bother me. Wow. I was gonna just gonna ask you who's chief of this floor. You're looking for the cook, that son of a gun. He must be in the kitchen. Okay, thanks. Whatever, dickhead. Okay, nothing in the demonic garbage. Hi! <laughs> Mice? No! No! <laughs> then dice? <laughs> Not the mice, man. All right. Sup, cook. Uh, I'm not gonna try to vo to voice him. Hey, you must be the new kid, right? Huh. Beelzebub said your name, Mr. Craven. Am I right? Listen, kid. Everything has been a mess here for some time now. What's happening? You know, hell is not a very fertile land. We also can't create livestock here. But there are some demons and ghouls that must eat. How do you get food then? 
So, we have some sinners we call Prometheans, and they, well, regenerate. Oh my. Yeah. But our current problem is, the Prometheans decide to go on strike. They won't even talk to me. Oh, so, Mr. Hemsworth and Dickhead. Okay, got it. They used to give parts of their bodies to uh, prepare food, and now, for some reason, they don't do it anymore. We just used the last limbs we had stored in the freezer, and the hungry demons won't come. Uh, will come at any moment. If they don't find their food, they'll come for us instead. And I'm sure I don't regenerate. Uh, do you want me to talk to the Prometheans? Yeah, they'll not talk to me. Okay, but if I convince them to give you their body parts again, uh, will you, uh, you will have to sign this letter of recommendation, okay? I've never seen that before, but I guess it's for new employees. Sure, I'll sign it. Nice. I'll take I'll take them over, okay? So let's find out, figure out what we can do for them. Hi. Hello. Are you by any chance one of the Prometheans the cook told me about? Oh, but it are. Indeed, I am, my friend. My name is Mr. Hemsworth. And you are? I'm new here. I'm helping the cook. Why won't you help him anymore? That rascal! Always demanding and never giving anything in exchange. I know I am here to pay for my sins in life. And, uh, in life, I was not the best boss. But it wouldn't hurt if he did something for us sometimes. And what do you want for him? Or what do you want from him? Or, uh, what'd they say? Sorry, I hit go before I actually finished the sentence. <laughs> We're famished. It is not contractually forbidden for us to eat on this floor. How about a deal? The contract says nothing about drinks. So you want something to drink? Yes, a beverage would be very good indeed. Something carbonated perhaps will do. And if I get you some soda, will you be friends with the cook again? How about a deal? I don't know about my fellows, but that would be good enough for me, yes. Okay, then. Uh, how about you? Hey, are you Promethean? If that's what... Wait, was this... I... Oh, yeah, I didn't voice him. If that means I'm just a pound for the cook to get his meat, then yes, I am. You seem grumpy. Yes, I am. How'd you guess? Huh? Your expression is maybe the way you're talking? The question was rhetorical. Yeah, I'm fed up. I mean... What's the deal with hell? <laughs> I get this is a pit of eternal suffering, but why do I have to give off parts of my of our bodies and get nothing back? After some eons, it gets tiring. Is that the reason why you and your friends went on strike? Yeah, we're all fed up. I'm so nervous. I want my coffee. I haven't drank it in years. You think a cup of coffee will uh, make you get calmer? I don't know. But it's been so long since I drank a cup of joe. Okay then. I think I can arrange that. Okay, so I know where the coffee is. Here's a vending machine. O-ball not found. Insert O-ball. Okay. About to get money. How about you? Are you a Promethean? I am. Where are you on strike? Actually, my colleagues convinced me to enter the strike. I must admit, I don't know for sure how hell works. What do you mean? I'm a knight, and my god was... My goal, sorry, was to find the Holy Grail, my place in heaven. How'd you end up down here? Well, my search for the Grail was so intense, I looked inside all the chalices I could find, and uh, that made me acquire a taste for the spirits. The Holy Spirits? No, booze. In the end, I found the Grail and was granted regeneration, but I came down here anyway. Oh, I see. And how can I convince you to stop uh, the strike? Uh, so he wants booze. Something to drink? Yeah, so all of them want... Okay. No! Okay. So let's go to the bottom floor. Let's get the coins out of... Ugh. Crunchy boy. Ugh. Let's get the coins out of the thingy. So many coins here. Wouldn't hurt to take one. 
<laughs> Sick. And now back to the second floor for booze and coffee. Oh, those screens are broken. Thought there was something on there. Yoink. And then let's go get booze. Can I get a drink? It's a bad look for the new hired <laughs> to be drinking this early. It's not for me, I swear. It's for Sir. Oh, one of my finest customers. Send him out your guards. Sick. Hell yeah. About to be a party up there. Also, I'm about to go see the new Ant Man movie. Uh. So I'll finish this video whenever I get back, and I'll also let you guys know what I thought. Uh, here you go. Obal received dispensary refreshment. <laughs> here you go. Here's a hooch. Yeah, I do. All I could find was this bottle. Oh, wine. I love this. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, this is very good. So. After you're done, do you think you can go back to working with the cook? Yeah, for sure. Cool. Oh, but uh, is that what I think it is? Yes, sir. Oh, wonderful. Give it here. Oh, but oh scrumptious. So refreshing. So, will you go back to working for the cook now? Oh, but uh, you can be sure I will. I hope he keeps writing me at these delicious beverages. I also hope so, my friend. Okay. Uh, and there you go. Is this a cup of coffee? Give me that. Oh, this is boiling hot. You want me to get burned? You know how long burning the roof of my mouth would take to heal? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. Here, take it back. I like ice coffee. Mention him called Yowch. Uh, I didn't know that. Let me fix it. All right. Can I put it in here or? Are you sure you don't like mice coffee? Mice. They're too cute to eat. Dice? Why are there dice in the freezer? So there's just like there has to be like a box of ice, right? Oh, here it is. There we go. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'm almost done. Here you go. Is this a cup of ice coffee from me? It's your favorite, after all. Oh, thanks. I need that. So many years without caffeine made me too angry. You think you can talk to the cook now? Yeah, I think so. I hope he has the decency to give me a cup of coffee or coffee break in a while. Once in a while. I also hope he does. There we go. Sign, please. <laughs> Have you talked to them? What did they say? I haven't talked to all of them yet. Be quick, kid. The, what? <laughs> what? I did, though. Hold on, what? Oh wait, 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 wait. Wait. You give me your heart? Sorry, I was clicking through that. Yeah, haha, it grows back, so it's not a big deal. Say so. I forgot about this guy. Hi, Violet Creature. Why do you come to talk to me? You're Promethean, aren't you? I've had the gift of vampirism for a thousand years, which means my body regenerates, so yes. Nice. And why are you on strike? Blood. I give all my blood to the cook and never gave me a single drop of the fresh stuff. I need blood to produce blood. If I bring you back, bring you some blood, uh, could you agree to at least talk to the cook? I will. I need more, uh, but you need more than luck, as no vile creature from hell has fresh blood. I think I can find some, and I think I can find a way. 
So there is blood on the floor. But I could also... Mice. Too cute to eat. Well, fuck. Okay. Um, hmm. Now I'm wondering, where can I get fresh blood? Blood cooler! for blood. I love blood. Where'd you find it? Plenty of there are gallons of blood on another floor. What? That was blood? How could I have never noticed it? I don't know. Why does the cook need your blood if there's just fresh gallons of the stuff? You offend me, demon. My blood is much more nutritious than mere human blood. I see. Will you go back and talk to the cook? I think so. You better let me visit that blood gallon every now and then. I'm sure he will. All right. So he's all happy now. You're good. All right. Have you talked to them? What'd they say? Yeah, I convinced them all. They're gonna keep doing whatever they were doing before. All they do is give them some drinks. Oh my Satan. That makes sense. I never asked if they were thirsty. With these working conditions, I'm surprised they didn't strike earlier. Hey. Uh, do you want to get that form signed or not? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to mind my own business. <laughs> you better. Show me that form before I change my mind. <laughs> You're welcome, kid. Uh, come here later if you want something to eat. Yeah, I guess I will? I like the cook. Makes a little pig snout. This is very charming. I guess I will turn in the form when I get back from the movie. Don't worry, I'm not gonna spoil it or anything. I'll just give my honest review. All right, yeah. Let's pause here. Boop, 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 boop. All right, I am back. Just saw Ant-Man. Oh boy. Here, Mr. Be here, Mr. Beelzebub. All the recommendations. That's good to see. I knew you'd fit right in. Yeah, it was easy. I'll say that. Okay, since you earned it, I'll promote you to Suffering Officer. Oh, that's very nice. It was your hard work, kid. You can now talk to Behemoth. Sick. On the fourth floor. He can help you from now on. Thanks, Mr. Beelzebub. All right. Later, Tater. Oh wait, I have to remute. This, there we go. Okay. Um. Who? Money. Please insert card. Okay. <clears throat> My first instinct was just to jump right in. Money? Oh no. Oh no. These like stock traders? These NFT bros? Washing machine? Am I gonna have to wash money? Oh my god. Okay, let's go find Behemoth. So a guard right here. Hi! Sisyphus. Hello! Are you new here? Go talk to Behemoth. He's in that room right there. Okay. Hi, buddy. Did somebody shoot you in the head? Uh, hey there, newbie. 
I heard about what you've done on the lower floors. Impeccable job. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna get straight to the point. The work is not done. I need your help. What do you need, Mr. Behemoth? I need these closure forms for the three floors of this sector. It's ordinary stuff, but I need them signed today. What do I need to do? Oh, God. You need to get them signed by the managers of each floor from this sector, which is this one, the fifth, and the sixth. You need them signed as soon as possible. The managers may be busy, so help them with whatever they need so they can sign this, okay? I think I can handle it. Fuck, man, so I gotta... Oh, that's why it's called red tape. Oh my god. Because I'm stuck in like this bureaucratic nightmare hillscape. I love the art in this. Alright. Hey, pal, I'm a little busy right now. I'm looking into the future. Okay. I'm a little busy right now. I'm looking into the future. I think all these dudes are just telling me to fuck off. Looking in the future. Okay. So, let's go for the next floor. See, so yeah, I'm not gonna talk spoilers about Ant-Man. Uh, basically, it just wasn't very good. Not very good. Not very good. Hey, hello. I've been sent here by Behemoth. Hello? Are you the angel that just turned into a demon? I've already heard of you. Oh, what a surprise. Anyways, I've been sent by Behemoth to collect your signature on one of these forms. <laughs> hmm, a closure form? That's unusual. Ugh. What happened? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I can feel a phone ringing and that makes me furious. Ugh. But, wait, you work on the customer service floor. <laughs> Isn't that normal uh, that phones are ringing here? <sighs> yes, it is. But after some budget cuts a long time ago, there's no one to answer the phones. Uh -huh. After some time, they get under your skin. Ugh. I hear nothing, though. <sighs> it's because I'm a fury, okay? We have very good uh -huh. hearing. My sisters are actually better than me at that. I don't know what they would do uh, if they were in my place. Do you need help with the phones? <sighs> actually, I do. But you can't help me right now. Why is that? Because if you fall into that pit, you'll spend the rest of eternity in the depths of hell. But how can I help you then? Uh -huh. First, you have to go to the respawn office right there and get respawn license, okay? Respawn? Yes, in hell, all the demons that have to work in dangerous conditions have to get a license. That way, if they get killed, or if their body is destroyed somehow, they can be reconstructed in a safe space, or a safe place. Hmm, interesting. <sighs> it is. And to answer those phones, you'll need that license. Uh -huh. Then I can sign that form of yours when I'm not hearing this unbearable sound again. Ugh. Okay, so let's go get a license. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Jerry, I love you. Hey, I, uh, I need respawn permission or something. You don't get that with me, kid. You get that with Dooza in the respawn office. Sorry, you seem a little dead, so I thought I needed to talk to you. That wasn't funny. Oh, okay. I get out of bounds. Okay, so I think... Oh, is that the office? It is. How convenient. <laughs> oh, it's Medusa. Okay. Hello, are you the respawn manager? <laughs> yes, it's me, one of Hell's oldest employees. <laughs> I'm Medusa, but everybody calls me Dusa. Hey there, Dusa. So how do I get a respawn license? <laughs> it's simple. You only need to sign these papers. This giant mount of, pa mount of paper? Mountain of paper, you mean? <laughs> it's not that big. It's one of the smallest contracts. The biggest ones can be kilometers long. Okay, why is this document so big though? You know, dying in hell is a mess. It takes a lot of logistics to bring a dead demon back to life. I know it by experience. What do you mean? I only work here because 
During my first year in hell, I kept turning a lot of people into stone by accident. The process to bring them back was insane. That's why they created this office and put me of all people in charge of it. I see. So I have to read all this? Nah, nobody reads it. <laughs> it's only the procedure. Uh, okay then, I'm gonna sign it. I guess this is it. Now you are officially able to respawn. Are you sure? Yes, it's all done. You can go there and die, no worries. Okay, thanks a lot. Stack of cash. Heart. Everything on your screen. No, okay. So I have a license. Uh, you got yourself a respawn license. You seem different. Excuse me. Are you for real? Yes. Those are the effects of signing an extremely and unnecessarily extensive document that has a technically simple objective. Oh yeah, I understood everything you said. Anyways, you can now talk to Jerry, the bony guy right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> He'll open the gates uh, for you so you can start answering those phones. Okay, thank you. Cool. Bop. I have a respawn license. Can you let me in? Or can you let me pass? For sure, my dude. I can feel the respawn essence on you. Okay, so it's... Uh... I have to go all the way over there. Do I need this bucket? No? Okay. Oh! So it actually moves. Okay. Uh, hey there, Hell's Customer Service, how can I help? Hello, I'm from Purgatory's Accounting Department. I'm calling to discuss Hell's debt. Debt? What are you talking about? The, uh, six quadrillion gold, gold obols that Purgatory loaned to Hell about 100,000 years or so ago? Wow, that's a huge number. Yeah, I couldn't find a working phone, and I've been calling for some time now. How can we discuss it? Well, I'm really not able to answer that right now, but I can talk to my superior. That won't help. I need an immediate answer to this. So it's a very serious matter and... Hello? Hello? They hung up. Or the line was cut. Okay. Hup, hup, hup. Oh, it moved again. Hell Inc. Customer service. How can I help? Hello, it's Glenn. I'm a journalist at Independent United Press. I'm calling uh, to talk about Hell's deficit. Deficit? Yeah, the fact that Hell is barely accepting sinners anymore. And that nearly all dead are going to Purgatory's Medical Center or Heaven's... El... Elatorium? I really don't know any of that. Or didn't know any of that. You can't be serious. First Hell closes nearly all forms of communications. Then we hear insider information of deals being made with oil companies? Now the first answered call in so long is someone that has no idea what's happening? You can't be serious. I don't know what to say. I'm only working to help Kratis. Kratis? The customer service director. Not the lies, kid. Hell's situation doesn't smell good. And if I were you, I'd start talking because... Hello? The line was cut again. That's odd. Okay. Uh, oh shit. I can't go that way. Move again. Okay. I'm gonna go for this one. Yeah, so it should be moving... Hello? Hey, Mr. What? The reception is very bad. Really can't hear you. I'm calling. Why? Why are you calling? I'm calling to know how our child is doing. 
Are they getting into much trouble? Is that us? Ooh. The one that just fell. This is the feisty one. Do they remember anything about the or beep? Hello? Oh my. The lines are being cut a lot today. Hello, this is an automated message from Apocalypse Toys Co. <laughs> this call has confirmed the shipment of 150 billion rubber ducks to the dependencies of hell. The shipment will arrive in four to eight working days. Thank you for trusting Apocalypse Toy Co. Why would hell buy a lot of rubber ducks? Especially when it's going through a hard time like this. Hello, hello. Hello, who is this? You knew who I am. You made the best deal ever with me. Come on, don't you remember? I really don't know who you are. Hey, mister, don't play dumb. This is Jack Imp from Mega Oil. Mega Oil? Hey, this is starting to annoy me. Mr. Allegio Fly. Allegio Fly? Uh, we have a huge deal on our hands, and we have to start preparing the ground for the sale. Sale? Who is... Uh, Elogo Fly? Elego Fly. Elegio Fly? Wait, aren't you Elegio Fly? Oh my. All you demons sound the same. Wait, tell me about the sale. Hello? You hang up on me. <gasps> I guess I can leave now? Uh, sign this. <sighs> Oh, that silence. It's so wonderful. I think I answered all the calls. That's perfect. Have you solved all of our clients' problems? So, that's the strange part. Most of them were people trying to collect on loans that Hell apparently defaulted on, or shipping confirmations. Uh -huh. That's not good, I think. It isn't. <sighs> Maybe you could talk to Behemoth to see if he knows something. Yeah, that could be a good idea. Uh -huh. Maybe you can figure it out. Oh, by the way, where's that form? Here it is. Can you sign it? <laughs> I sure can. Cute. Got a stamp. Is that like a... Is it like a kitty devil? What is that? Okay. Later, Tater. Um, let's go to six. So, rubber duckies. <clears throat> they have... A bunch of oil. Like a... A contract for oil. We've also defaulted on some loans? <laughs> Oops. Damn. Damn, Vogue. <laughs> Satan's thick. Huh. There we go. Yeah, how's that feel? <laughs> All right. Oh, sick. Y'all look chic. The three Moira? Moira? <clears throat> Hello, child. We see your path has been very hard. You also see what you want from us. You want that form signed by us, right? I guess so? But your path isn't finished yet. You, we need your help, noble demon. We feel a huge disturbance ahead. And you're the only hope. What do you mean? Will you bring back hope? Or you will bring back hope. Hope that there is justice. Even in the most vile place. Social media. Am I have to... Did I just start running their, like, Twitter account or some shit? That's, that's where hope lies. <coughs> Take this phone. And get your fellow employees. To follow hell on social media. You want me to gather followers for the company page? Yes, that's pretty much it. Gather at least 10 followers. So then we can sign your form and you can continue your journey. Okay then. Excuse me. What? Digital marketing. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Creativity. 
Sexy Satan. A bear. Hi. Hello. Uh, the Moiras asked me to gather followers, or gather follows for the Hell Inc. social media page. Could you follow? Well, well. Of course, here it is. Wow. Uh, you have a lot of followers. Well, well. Yeah, people used to follow me a lot. For what, sir? What were you doing? <laughs> Hello? What's up, boss? Hey there, Mr. Minotaur. Would you care to follow Hell Inc. on social media? I, I don't have one of those, I guess. Oh, I see. Thanks anyway. Alright, see ya. So we have a sexy devil. We have a bear. Then we have a minotaur. Is this game trying to make me horny? Copy? Okay. Um, let's go to the bottom and work our way up. We get more follows. Like, I wonder if Beelzebub has social media. What's up, dickhead? Hello, Beelzebub. Can you follow Hell on social media? Oh, I'd love to, but I don't follow corporate accounts. Did I ask? Point out where I asked. I said, follow it, bitch. No, oh, can't, can't even talk to him. Hello. Hey, Virgil. Would you care to uh, follow in the company and its new social media profile? For sure. I love helping my company grow strong. Thanks. Uh, hey, Imar, would you care to follow Hell Inc? I would, but I can't. Ergorit has our phone right now. That's sad. Okay, let's go talk to... Uh, could you help me in... Yeah, Hell Inc. You're in luck. It's my turn to use the phone so I can follow the page. Nice. Still can't see what I used to look, look like. Or what I look, look like now. I want to go back to that mirror. I never used that, but sure, why not? Cool. Who's it? Oh, Cleopatra is up here. I bet you have social media. Hey, Cleo. Can you follow Hell? <laughs> uh, the Gaul asking for my help after giving away my precious mirror. You're lucky that I take social media very seriously. I'll follow, but only on the condition that you follow me back. So she's a follow for follow. Uh, can't do it because he's mix mixing drinks. Okay. What's up? Uh, no, I just follow myself. Get out of here. Hey there. Can you follow the company on social media? Sure, we'll follow it with our couples account. Thanks. Okay, ugh. One of those people. Uh, what up? Could you follow, uh, no. But you didn't let me finish. <laughs> the little face. I don't care. Okay. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> Hello, could you follow uh, Hell on social media? After you shaved my hair? No, I couldn't. Good point. I don't blame you, honestly. Oh wait, there's two more back here. The Cupid and the horny one. Hey Cupid, you want to follow Hell on social media? Of course. Hey. Can you follow Hell on social media? Sorry, babe. I would if I could. But I lost my phone. That's sad. Okay. I don't need to go, like, find it, do I? I don't think I do. Uh, let's go to three. Let's talk to the vampire. What's up, bruh? What's up, Glog? Can you follow Hell on social media? I can't. I only follow my prey into the nights. 
What's up, sir? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, cool. Now, you're an asshole. Let's ask you. Hello, Mr. Hemsworth. Can you follow my hell, or can you follow hell on social media? I'm too old for that. Okay. Let's go talk to the chef. What's up, pig? Hey, cook. Can you take a little time and follow hell on social media? Sick. All right, let's talk to him. After that cup of coffee, uh, I can get into the web with no worries. Should I go ask more people? Cause like, I ain't asking anybody on floor four. I won't follow him. Leave me alone. Okay. Uh, I get sad because of it every day, but my next day, I'm here again. Okay. So I'm actually getting more followers than needed. No, I won't. Okay. He said, leave me alone. I'm divinating. Yeah. Okay. So none of these dudes will... I take your orb. That's very pretty. Let's see, who am I missing now? Oh, uh, customer service floor. There's Dusa, Jerry, and you. Sorry, I can't. Uh -huh. My sisters uh, can't see that I have a social media account. <laughs> They'll ask me why I don't follow them. Yikes. Why don't you follow them? Uh -huh. All they do is send me rants. Hey, Jerry, would you mind following hell? Sure. Okay. Thanks, bro. And you? Hey, Dusa. Cool. So 100 or 1,003. I went above and beyond for my manager because I am just that good of an employee. Okay, I think we're good. Failure, bad, success, good. There you go. You did it. You gathered the followers. The social media page is a success. There is hope in hell. Yeah. The strings of destiny were strengthened today. Thanks to you. And thanks to you again. They'll be even stronger. Now show us the fated document. Okay. Got a achievement called Internet Celebrity. Thank you. See ya. Um, can I punch this bear in the mouth? Hey there. Did you get the followers? I did. That's great. I knew the fates would uh, be kind to you. Thanks, bro. Very pleasant bear. What up? Who are you? I'm the Minotaur. I protect this bridge. From what? From anyone that tries to cross it. I guess. Why? Ah. That is strange. Um. Okay. Trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. So we got these two stamped. I guess it's going to be Behemoth. Behemoth. Oh wait, no. I need four. What am I doing? Because these fucks won't even talk to me yet. So, hello. Did you help the managers already? Not all of them. Uh, okay. Daddy Behemoth says, get back to work. Hey, friend. I see you talked to Behemoth, right? Yeah. He told me to go over to the managers of the floors and ask them to sign these forms. 
I can do that, but first, I have to open this vault, which is harder than I thought. Why? Because I, I forgot the combination. Oh, fuck. Even though this floor's managers, uh, even though I'm this floor's manager, the ones who are really in charge of the uh, divinatory mages. Without the combination, okay. Without the combination, only they can open this vault. Can't you talk to them? Those guys hate me. They don't even talk to me. I hate forgetting the combination. But it always happens. I usually remember, but this time it might be different. Sorry, friend. I won't sign this until I solve this. Okay. Yeah, okay, so let's go convince the mages. Take my corporate credit card. Might need to buy something, just try not to spend too much. Sick. Oh, okay. I'm about to be fucking ballin'. Hey, what up? Hmm? Hi, who are you? Uh, why are you here? Sisyphus sent me here. Hmm? What does he want? He wants you and your friends to open the vault. Oh, we can't right now. You know, we're busy literally divinating about, uh, the, about how the stocks will behave for the next few days. For your information, we are the ones who hold the economic structure of hell together. Aren't we, like, super in debt? I get it. We only have to push a button. Yeah, we can't do that. Maybe in a few days. Unless... Unless what? Unless you give us something in return. Like what? We like money. If you know what I mean. What you mean is quite literal. Yeah, give us money! <laughs> and we press the button. Okay. Damn, this is a fat stack. Okay, so here's the cash for you. Hey, hey, hey! Get this out of here! Why? It's money. It's dirty money! Oh my god, that's right. I have to wash the money. <laughs> uh, why is it dirty? This money is traceable! I can feel it comes from Sisyphus's, <laughs> Sisyphus's bank account. You have to wash this money uh, to cover tracks. Okay. I'm going to wash this money. Oh, clean money. There you go. Money! Yes. Give it to me. Will you press the button? Yeah, yeah, of course. Precious money. Okay. So he wants cash. Do you have money? Oh, okay. So he wants cash as well. Um, I wonder if I have to use different ATMs. Buddy, I'm wiping you out, my man. I'm sorry. Wash the money. Wash the money. Ooh, clean money. Here you go. Money! Yes. Cool. Now, let's go for this one? Damn, bro. You're getting rinsed. Wash of the money. Wash of the money. Ooh, clean money. Here you go. Now, last ATM. Boop. Oh wait, I didn't wash it. Ha <laughs> ha. Wash of the money. Like this demon. Here you go. Fat stack right in your face. Cool. So now the vault should be open. You sign my forms. You convince them. I can open the vault. Yeah. How'd you get the money? Did you raise it or something? Yeah. For sure. That's great. You can give me back my credit card now. 
There you go. Okay, let's open this vault now. Let's see what's inside. What? Uh... Hey, stranger, you woke me up. Hey, why is the vault empty? Just is. That's strange. Who are you? I'm the safekeeper. I have taken care of this vault since the beginning of time. Way to... You did a pretty bad job. <laughs> As I said before, the vault is empty. You don't know, do you? You know what? So, the truth is, hell is doomed. It always was. This vault was empty because hell was always broke. But how did hell maintain itself for all this time? Here in hell, we thrive on suffering, not money. On Earth, a vault is full of money. Is normal in hell, an empty vault causes suffering. So hell isn't in danger? It is! From inside these walls, I can feel a lot of vibration coming from different places. Something big is about to happen, and those in charge know it very well. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm still a little drowsy. I want to go back to sleep. Okay, I guess. I'll let you sleep. Thank you. Okay, so hell's broke. Uh, let's find my shit. The vault empty, can't believe it. Yeah, unbelievable. Take the issue of the higher ups. Uh, you're on the fast track for management. Yeah, thank you. Sick. What's up, boss? Did you already get the signatures? You're too fast. I guess so. Your work was great. These forms are essential for the future of the company. Speaking of, I noticed some strange things while talking to the managers of this of the floors. There's some irregular stuff going on. Irregular? What do you mean? Well, for starters, the accounting vault is empty. The customer service floor has no customers. There's rumors that something bad is happening to the, to the company. It looks like something is keeping hell from making progress and higher management doesn't care. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Are you talking about a conspiracy? I don't want to use that word, but it all seems so strange. Hey kid, if I were you, I would focus on working hard, continuing to evolve, and, li and not listening to rumors about other employees. Remember, gossip is on the second floor. <laughs> Do you want to work there again? No, sir. I thought so. I can assure you, hell is going to be fine. We've been on this path for eons, and we're not going to be shaken by a little recession. We can withstand a lot more. Okay, then. Okay. Let's move on the good stuff. You've been promoted. Seriously? Yeah. You're working for Baphomet now. Sick. He's on the seventh floor waiting for you. That's good, I guess. Cheer up, kid. You deserve it. Thanks. Anything in the fireplace? Okay, so let's go talk to Buffy Waffy. Uh, floor seven. Legal. <laughs> Hi. Do you have an appointment? I guess not. Mr. Malakata only sees people who have appointments. Now scram. All right. Oh, you're awesome. Sick. He's dope. <laughs> hello, there, hello there, Mr. Craven. How are you? How do you know my name? Well, your work precedes you. I've been hearing about you from Beelzebub and Behemoth for some time now. Wow, that's great. I guess. Yeah. Are you ready to do a big trash or do a big task for me? I think I am. But I have something to talk to you about first. Go ahead. So... I've been hearing some things around the building while I was doing some errands for the directors. 
I'm a little worried, actually. The vaults are empty. I answered some strange calls, uh, talking about an oil sale and about hell owing a lot of money to purgatory. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard in a long time. It's not a joke, sir. It's serious. I tried to talk to Behemoth, but he seemed to just brush it off. Oh, well, well, well. Listen, I understand that you're new here and might be feeling overwhelmed. Oh, well, well, well. But I assure you, everything is under control. Oh, well, well, well. If Behemoth said to brush it off, then do it. But sir, oh, well, well, well. hey, why don't you do this? Do a little errand for me. Simple stuff. Then talk to Malkata on this floor. Who's oh, that? Well, well, well. He's Hell's lawyer. He'll tell you everything is fine. I want to talk to a lawyer. Oh, well, well, well. What's the errand? Deliver these letters to the Princess of Hell on the VIP floor, the last one. Okay. They seem important. What is it? Oh, well, well, well. Doesn't matter, okay? Don't open them. Okay. Oh, well, well, well. If you want to talk to Malkata sometime, just say a riddle to his secretary. Oh, well, well, well. If you fool the crocodile, they'll open Malkata's office and you'll be able to talk to him. Okay, oh, then. Well, well, well. Now go, kid. And don't stress over those dumb matters. Okay, can I open the letters? No? Okay. There's a rubber ducky again. He's so cool looking. <laughs> Here's a riddle. Pow! Right in the face. Do you have an appointment? Okay, so you figure out a riddle. Oh wait, yeah, okay. So what if I told you a riddle? What? Yes, a riddle. Say it, say it now. Uh, hmm. Are you having problems? What is something that, the more you go up, the more you also go down? Oh, that's a good one. Is it a ladder? No, you're wrong. You have one more try. Hmm. A... Mm, I don't know. Damn it. A road? A pit? An elevator? Nope, none of those. What is it then? The path of sin. Seriously? Yes. Seriously, seriously? Yep. Now let me talk to Malakata. Okay, you won. I bet Baphomet asked you to tell me a riddle. Yep, it was him. You know you could have just uh, told me he sent you. It would have been enough. Well. Oh, what? Is that LeBron James? <laughs> Who is this? Hello. Hey, what up, people? Hey there. You're the recently fallen angel, am I right? Yeah, I guess I am. Not too many angels fall nowadays. Well, let's change subjects. To what do I owe the pleasure? Well, Baphomet told me to talk to you if I was worried. Worried about what? I've been hearing some serious rumors about around hell. Like what? More than one person I talked to said that something very bad was going to happen to hell. And some of them were clairvoyant. I see. And you're worried because you heard some rumors? Actually, yeah. I talked to the guys at accounting, and Hell's vaults are empty. And in customer service, uh, I heard that Hell's not accepting people in anymore. That's strange. But you don't have a concrete proof, do you? I, I clicked too quick. I don't. I only heard things. And we can't do much with that, can we? I guess we can. But I can assure you, friend, Hell's in good hands. Earth has been passing through some recessions lately. And that reflects in hell. That's nothing to worry about. We've been through worse. Everyone tells me that, but it doesn't ease my anxiety. I know, but that's how things are. Yeah, I guess we can't see the future. Wait, maybe you can. What do you mean? You see, this floor used to be a huge library once. We salvaged some books and turned them into my office. Uh, but there's one book. One book that's stuck in a room no one can access in years. 
Oh, you mean the room to the right of the elevator? Yeah, that one. There's a book inside of it. The Book of Destiny. Everything that, <laughs> that has happened is happening uh, and has yet to happen is written in there. And why is the room locked? I guess an intern locked it from inside or something. Or it's some, from the inside and something happened to them. Yeah, but like I said, the room is locked and we don't have another key. The tales are correct. There's a portal that leads into that room. A portal? Yes. You see, somewhere in hell, there's a bridge that leads to a portal. So I gotta go see the Minotaur? Oh, I may have seen something like that. But the bridge is guarded by a terrible beast, so you have to be careful. If that's the same bridge as I'm thinking of, the myths might be a little exaggerated. Anyway, if you can find a way uh, into that portal and into the room, you might get the book. That would be great. I would also be able to see what horse will win the next race next week. Okay, good point. Wait, what? I do a little horse betting on the side. <laughs> Isn't it a little immoral to use a book with everything written inside to know which horse you should bet on? I'm a lawyer. There's nothing immoral to me. Okay then, I'm gonna find that book. Alright. So you have to help a dirty lawyer. Uh, let's go to the princess first. Planning VIP. Ooh. Another rubber ducky. What's up, Dante? Hello, being of light. Hello, uh, how do you know I'm an angel? Because I do. I need to speak with the princess of hell. I have letters to deliver to them. Unfortunately, I cannot let you in. But Baphomet himself sent me here. I know, divine creature. But he knows very well that I would not let you pass. Why? Because you are still an angel. He wants to train you for some reason. I mean, yes, I'm an angel. But I need to enter the floor. Something is wrong with hell. I need to talk to the devil. And deliver these letters. Your goals are noble. And that is why I cannot let you, let you pass. This floor is reserved for traitors. Only those who would do anything for their own interests. They're the dirtiest, wisest, and most terrible of creatures. And even I, and even if I wanted to, I cannot let you pass. Because I have been trying to pass for years and never succeeded. Why do you want to go there? Because my loved one is in heaven. At the... Melatorium? And there's only one way to enter there. Going through the devil's den. But this floor, uh, but this floor knows if you are a true traitor, and none of us are. Therefore, we will not pass. So I would have to do something shady for you to let me pass? Yes. What if I somehow bribe you? There's nothing in the world that I would accept. Nothing at all? Nothing that you desire? The only thing I desire is in heaven. How I miss her. I barely remember her face. I had an amulet with her photo. I lost it somewhere in hell. Hmm, maybe that's a hint. Come on. What did you say? Nothing. <laughs> Very well. Go, creature, and continue your journey through hell. Alright. Watch it be like, just right here. Ah, something that was at me. Okay, so we have one more floor to go to, but let's do that in a second. Okay, so we're going to planning. Whoa. Damn. Oh, they're all birds, too. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. Why are you so worried? Can't you see? There's a bomb on the table. Wow. Why is that there? I don't know. I'm just an intern. I went to the second floor to make copies. When I came back, it was here. That's serious. Oh my. If I don't do something about it, I'll totally get fired. Or you might die. After all, it's a bomb. 
Oh, that doesn't worry me. Anyway, can you help me? I guess. Do you have any clue uh, who planted the bomb in here? I don't know. It was one of them. The planners. That doesn't help me. I really don't know. They're capable of anything. They've been at the at war for ages. Why? Planning. Each one of them thinks that their plan is more effective than the others. They've been so obsessed, they've started a war. Wow, that's a bit radical. Radical! Uh, it doesn't matter. If this bomb shows up in my report, I can say goodbye to this job. I'll talk to them and try to see who put the bomb. Or which one put the bomb. Okay. Thanks a lot, friend. That's a cute little bomb. Alright. Scheme. HR. Cute. Hey there. What's up? Who are you? I'm here because David is worried about that bomb. That guy? You can die worried if you want. Why? He's a clown. Always trying to make peace. <laughs> How would we make peace if I'm working with those dumb guys? Those other planners? Yeah. Those guys want to live in the Stone Age. That's their problem. But they want to drag the company with them? Now it's personal. <laughs> Stone Age? Yeah, they hate the idea of using computers to do all the planning. Ugh. Need to readjust how I'm sitting. Ugh, everybody stretch. Ugh. Ugh. Well, stretchy, stretchy. Okay. Yeah, they hit the idea of using computers to do all the planning. It's so simple and intuitive. You only have to sit down and press some buttons on the keyboard. Seems easy. It is. The guys like that clown Debbie want to do everything manually. I wouldn't be surprised if she had something to do with it. Or would do with that bomb you mentioned. Why is that? He seems like her style. She loves to seem mean and dangerous, but is a coward. What do you mean? That lady is afraid of any kind of threat. If you threatened her, uh, maybe she would let something let something out about the bomb? Would she? She sure would. If you would do it with a weapon, she will be very scared. Noted. So you threaten a pigeon? Stacks of cash. phone. <laughs> I love them. Hey there. Hi, what do you want? I don't know about that bomb. Do you know something about it? Oh, there's something glistening back there. I might know. Will you do something about it? Uh, I just want to disarm it so the floor doesn't blow up. If it blew, at least the other guys would learn a lesson. What do you mean? They have the wrong ideas about what planning means. And what do you think planning means? I think only the ones capable of doing it, which is us, must do it. You don't see me meddling with matters of other floors, do you? I guess not. Exactly. But the other guys don't see it. And Joey is the dumbest one of them, or dumbest of them all. And that sparrow, David the intern. Actually, I think I heard Joey say something about a bomb. Have you? Yeah, that crow has something to do uh, with that for sure. And how can I make him confess? Well, I see he and his friends steal a lot of coins and shiny stuff. I'm sure he likes that type of thing. So can I give him the... That shining dagger? Shiny things? Yeah. I'll try to find something. Okay. Now this is a knife. Hey, are you one of the planners? Why? Were you sent by the others? No, I'm here because of that bomb. Oh, that? I have nothing to do with that. Are you sure? <laughs> like, wielding a knife at him? Like, are you positive? 
Are you a narc or something? No, no, I just, I'm just worried the floor might get blown up into pieces. <coughs> Would it be so bad? They've already, they already want to destroy Hell's planning system. Why is that? <coughs> they want all the planning to be done here by then, instead of letting everyone have a voice. <coughs> okay, that's a good point. They said everything will get held up if we wait for others to chime in. <coughs> but in the end, all that does is make the rest of Hell upset when they do something no one wanted. <coughs> and that intern. <coughs> Always trying to compromise instead of coming to my side. Which is obviously the right one. I guess he doesn't know what to do at all around here. And HR, the cocktail guy. He gets under my feathers. Actually, maybe I can help you. Might have something to do with the bomb. Now you know. He's always on that computer. It's actually where he stores all his planning data. If that computer suddenly broke or something... Maybe he would uh, talk to you about the bomb. You want me to destroy his computer? <laughs> yeah, I help fresh his memory up. What? That make no sense. All right, let's threaten to hurt the knife. Hey, what about Joey? How can I make him talk again? Uh, give him something shiny. Uh, well, I have the knife, and he didn't give a shit. Oh, what do you have there? Nothing. Only this shiny knife. Wow, that's so beautiful. That's the most beautiful, th beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I agree. Can you give it to me? Yeah, but only if you tell me what's. Uh, your connection with that bomb. Me and the other guys planted it. I helped connect the wires. <laughs> I only remember the second digit, which is two. Thanks. Okay, so now we know the second digit is two. This is the computer I need to blow up, I think. Um... Uh... How? I also need a, wep a weapon to threaten her with, don't I? You gave him the knife? Yeah, but he only gave me one number. Uh, he said that... He said that all of you are in it, though. I don't know anything about it. Get out of here. Yeah, like, both lines came out at the same time, so I was like, huh? Hey, I need to cross that bridge. I unfortunately can't let you pass. But Malkota said I have to get that book on the other side of this bridge. It doesn't matter uh, who told you what. My orders are to, not, are to let no one pass. And why is that? I don't know. That's strange. It is, isn't it? I mean, I had a long time to think about this. About how hell has evolved and changed. When I came to work here, it wasn't a building nor a company. But the bridge was already here, and I had to take care of it. And you never knew why? I guess in the beginning I knew. There were a lot of angry sinners being tortured, and I had to make sure they didn't uh, go to places they shouldn't. But now, hell's a company, and the demons and sinners work together. This bridge makes no sense. You know what? I would do anything to work anywhere else in this building. There must be so many cool things to see. I think I might be able to help you. You do? It would be awesome. Yeah. Then you let me pass? I mean, I wouldn't be working on the bridge anymore, so it wouldn't be my problem. Okay, then. I'm going to talk to the guys that brought me into the company and see if there's... Uh, any open positions. That's perfect. Okay. So, I was walking around upstairs and I couldn't figure out what weapon I needed. Then I remembered he guards the bridge and has a big ol' axe just swinging. A big thing just swinging. So, maybe if I give him a job, he'll give me the axe. Hi. Um. Hey, 
Hey, Virgil. Hi, kid. How are you? Heard you're adapting uh, well to being a demon. Sure. I'm now doing a thing for Malakata. Oh, I love that guy. He tells the best jokes. He's very cool, but I'm actually trying to help the Minotaur. Don't know if you know him. Oh, yeah, I know him. He guards that bridge on the sixth floor, right? Yeah, so I'm trying to get a new job for him. Are you? Why? He just doesn't like guarding a bridge. I lost all meaning for him. I think that's what I said. I keep clicking before it's over. That's sad. I hate to see a fellow employee sad with their work. Yeah, me too. I can ask if you know of any available spots somewhere or anywhere in the company. I might actually know one. You see, Aristotle. He's also sad at his position. And we were planning on finally retiring him. He deserves it. So Minotaur could be Limbo's new receptionist? That's right. Take this proposition to him and it's all done. Oh, that's strangely easy. I hear you might be looking for a new job. Okay. Uh... Bro, they're... They're about to retire you. Even if I knew, what would it matter? Most positions are not available for demons like you. It's not for me, it's for Minotaur. Wait, he's still here? Yeah. On the marketing floor, guarding a bridge. Wow. Why didn't you tell me that before? He's also Greek. He can replace me here and I can retire. Oh, he wants to retire. What does him being Greek have to do with anything? It doesn't matter. Go talk to Virgil. Okay. So, let's go give Minotaur the letter. Is he gonna give me the axe? I want that axe. So I can threaten a pigeon with it. There you go. I have good news for you. Do you? I'm so excited. Yeah, I talked to Virgil and there's an open position for a receptionist in Limbo. Oh, that'd be great. I'd love that. So yeah, here's the position for you, or proposition for you. That's wonderful. It says I can start working there today. Great. So you let me pass now? For sure. Thanks, friend. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> huh. <laughs> Larry. Oh no, poor guy died in here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the book. Okay, so before I do this, well, yeah, let's go ahead and give him the book. I was like, how am I supposed to threaten that bird? Yeah, that's exactly it. Let me see. Wow. What? What'd you say? War. War? What do you mean? The horse. War. I knew I should have bet on war. He's recovering from an injury, but is indeed a great horse. Focus, Malakata. What about hell? Oh, yeah. There's that. Let me see here. Hmm, okay, I see... What? What? Hell is being sold! What do you mean? It's too late. Hell's in the process of being sold to an oil company. It's already in the final stages of negotiation. What do we do? You have to find a way to talk to the devil as soon as you can. Oh, where can I do it? He's in the last floor, the ninth, but Cerberus is guarding the elevator. You must have permission to go in there. Mission from who? From Baphomet, I think. So, I must do this letter thing he asked me to do? Yeah. Uh, do what you have to do and go talk to the devil. He has to know about this. And here, uh, take the book back. Why? It's telling me that you must have the book, okay? Let's also have this weird broken picture thing I found for some reason. Uh... And for some reason, kept with me until now. So this is half of the locket. 
that uh, Dante wants. So, I'm still confused about what to do with these fucking birds. Gun? Oh, shit. Yeah, they had a gun once, uh, but they were fighting and threw it in a trash can. Must still be there if you can find it. Okay. So I was like, how am I supposed to threaten them if dude has the knife? Um, trash can. Oh my god, it's right here. <sighs> What's up, Debbie? Hey, I have a little matter I want to talk to you about. B what? HR told me you might know something I need to know. Hey, point that thing away from me, please. I'll only start talking. Uh, about what? What do you mean? I'm scared. About the bomb. Don't play dumb with me. Oh, the bomb? I help plan it. Uh, it was my job to get the explosives. And what's the combination? I don't remember. Uh, so it's three. So it's two, three. Oh my god. Is it one, two, three, four? That's a fucking blap, blap. <laughs> hey, you destroyed my computer. Why'd you do that? So you tell me about the bomb. <coughs> you didn't have to use violence. I only helped put the number pad on the bomb. Uh, the first digit was one. So it's one, two, three. You did it. Yeah. Seems uh, that somehow all of them agreed to do one thing. Put the bomb here. What do you mean? I think they hate you more than they hate each other. Wow. Those... But what matters is that the combination is one, two, three. I forget they had bird brains and couldn't think of anything complex. I should have tried the, that combination. It isn't that obvious. What do, you, what do you mean? Of course it is. It worked. Thanks a lot. I said it would help. Here, take this as a token of my appreciation. I found it here and it doesn't belong to any of the planners. Oh, that's nice. Got it. So now I can go up to Dante. And be like, here's a picture of uh, to Corazon. It's her. It's my love. I knew I'd find it. My God, she is so beautiful. Now I remember. I'm suffering right now, not being able to be by her side. Why did you make me suffer like this? It was not my intention. It was! You wanted any means to pass through these gates, and now you cause my suffering. Maybe you re maybe you are really a demon. No, I'm sorry. Work with me, kid. The floor has to think that you betrayed me. Why did you do this to me? I will never have peace again. Yes, yes, ah ha ha. I just wanted to see you suffering, or see your suffering. I know. In the end, you are a true traitor and a wicked demon. Go on, creature of heaven. Only you can save this place. Thank you, Lord Dante. Uh. Aw, oh, damn it. Do I not have the gun anymore? Oh, shit. Ball? Stolas? Hello. You're the angel, aren't you? Actually, I'm a demon now. No. You are everything but a demon. Okay. Um, nice baby. Who are you? I'm the new kid. The talented one? Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. What are you doing here? Baphomet sent me to deliver letters to the higher management. Letters? Where are they? Let me find them real quick. Uh, I have letters for you. A letter from whom? From Baphomet. 
Oh, must be concerning the important matter. Okay, so let's get them the letters. Or do you know what it is? Give it here. Ah, yes, just what I was thinking. What is it? You'll know soon enough. All right. Whoa. Hell yeah. Uh, what is your business? I have a letter from Baphomet. Baphomet? A letter from him would only mean one thing. Let me see. I see. It's close. Okay. It was close. None of your concern, my dear courier. Asmodeus. Baphomet. Hello. I have a letter from uh, Baphomet for you. A letter? Who could it be? Hand it here, please. Oh, some great news for a change. Thank you for your services, darling. Do you need a coin or something? I guess not. All right. Later. Um. Cerberus. Oh, Cerberus is a good boy. Oh, look at Sir. Oh. <laughs> Oof! You can't pass. Why? This goes to the Devil's Den. You don't have, woof, permission. Okay, now that I delivered the letters, I need to go back to Baphomet. Baphomet. Lucifer. Asmodeus. Satanus. I think that Baphomet is my favorite design. I delivered the letters. Oh, well, well, well. You did a great job. Kid, I can easily see you making it to the board of directors one day. Uh, it's sad that I never will. Why do you say that? This hell is being sold to a company called Mega Oil. What? How do you know about that company? I put the pieces together. Kid, you're making serious accusations right now. That could get you fired. Or worse. I don't care. I demand to go talk to Lucifer right now. What? You demand what? I want to talk to Lucifer. I want access to the elevator that goes to the Devil's Den. And I know you can give me access. So you can do what? Unsell hell? So I can do something about it. I'm going to talk to your manager. Uh, and what exactly do you think Lucifer will do? He's the king of hell. That doesn't mean anything. You know... Hell was once a great place. Our names evoked fear in the mortals. Our pits were home to suffering and screams. Now we are a shadow of what we once were, corporate puppies. We discussed how we could uh, take over heaven and how we would torture the damned. Now we only gossip at the water fountain and make photocopies. And Lucifer is part of that decline. He hid in his pit a long time ago and never came out. He can't do anything anymore. The deal is closed. You're part of this. Everyone that had any sense of preservation is. Hell is doomed. We're just helping it uh, have a nobler end. Who else is in on this? All directors. We all decided to close the deal behind the devil's back. What about all the employees? Do you think I give a damn about the employees? They're already in hell. What could be worse? You're a monster. No, I'm a demon. At least I know what I am. What about you, little angel? I... I... I don't care. Go talk to Lucifer and see what he has to say to you. He's probably in his den crying again. This won't go well for you. Or any of you. You have too much faith. Maybe it really was a mistake you fell. Alright, see ya. I saw him that... that glock glock. be pumping that man full of lead right now. Alright, Cerberus, you little cutie. Let me pass. I can smell you. Huh? Yeah, permission. I can smell it on you. Yeah, Baphomet let me pass. Wow, 
You must be really dumb or really important. Woof. Rude? Punch the chihuahua part in the face. The other two parts get scratches. Sick. Hey, buddy. Lucy, I'm home. Aw. You're weird looking. You're like an old man. Hello? Oh, my God. Well, hey there. Are you Lucifer? The devil? Okay, no. I sure am. In the flesh. Oh, my God. Why a surprise? I thought you'd be more menacing. Okay, no. Well, thousands and thousands of years of fire and brimstones uh, don't do any good for the skin. I see. Well, Mr. Lucifer, I came here to warn you. Oh, my God. Warn me about what? Did my tea run out? No, worse than that. Hell's in danger. Oh, no. What do you mean? Spit it out. The directors are planning to sell hell. Oh, I see. What do you mean, I see? Did you know about this? Okay, no. Actually, no. But I can do nothing about it. How? You're the devil. You own this company. Oh, my God. I do, but I haven't controlled it for a long time now. So you're willing to let hell be wasted by some oil company just because you're oh, afraid? No. What can I do about it? I'm old now. I don't think I'm the ravenous devil from erstwhile. The same ravenous devil. But you're the boss of hell. If you can't do it, then who can? Oh, my God. I don't know, young one. But why? Why'd you give up on hell? Okay, no. I love hell. But when you try to organize a place made out of chaos, there's only so much you can do. Oh, I ended up seeing my dream project slowly get getting corrupted. And I couldn't watch that okay, anymore. No. So I hid in my den. And I've been here since then. It's not much, but it's something. I think I understand, but I won't give up on hell. I love to see your stubbornness, but who are you? I'm an angel. Actually, I fell, but even though I want to save hell, I know my place is not here. Okay, no. A recently fallen angel. I may have an idea. What? Oh, my God. I think he might be able to get more attention to this matter if you talk to the Game Master. The Game Master? But how will I do it? Okay. Don't underestimate me, kid. I have a path that goes directly into heaven. But how? Oh my God. You aren't the only one. You aren't the only fallen angel, kid. Just keep in mind that heaven and hell are more connected than it oh seems. God. Now go. Enter that door, and you will make it to heaven in no time. Thank you, Mr. Lucifer. You're definitely not as bad as they uh, paint you. Oh my God. Uh, I guess the times may be soft. You. All right. See ya. Door to heaven. So our angel or demon friend ventures once again into the altorium or heaven, if you wish. The angel runs through the well-known slot machines and poker tables looking for the game master's chambers. <laughs> when the angel finds the doors, uh, they are being guarded by uh, Metatron. What are you doing here? He says. You shouldn't be here. You're a demon now. You're right. But I have to talk to the Game Master. The formal angel says. Hell's in danger. In danger? <laughs> Metatron laughs. Do you think the Game Master is going to fall for that? It's true. The angel insists. It's all written in this book. When Metatron sees the Book of Destiny, his tone immediately changes. How'd you get that? Metatron asks, shocked. You know what? Give me this. Metatron grabs the book and runs away, leaving the door unprotected. Our angel friend enters the Game Master's chambers. Hello, child, says the Game Master. Hello, Master, says the angel, bowing in respect. You don't need to do that, since you don't answer to me anymore. Why do you venture here? The Game Master says. Then the angel tells it all, how Hell's bosses are betraying the devil and plotting to sell it. The game master listens to it all in silence. You need to help. You need to help hell. The angel exclaims. 
uh, when finishing the story. I can do that, the Game Master says, but first, there must be a trial. The trial is held in limbo. The Game Master stands as judge, Metatron as the scribe, and Hell's bosses are the defendants. Malakota is not allowed to be in the courtroom, but he promises the angel he'll... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Gotta tickle my throat. <coughs> promises the angel he'll help by providing evidence. The angel must convince the Game Master that Hell is innocent and the bosses are the culprits. Oh, what? Uh... Uh... Do I punch you? Okay, now that hurts me. Oh, okay, so I can jump on shit. And then... I love this, like, Final Fantasy VII boss music soundtrack. Hi. Evidence. Um. Shit. Okay. Where do I take the evidence? There you go. Uh, okay. Down here. Out of my way. Stupid. No! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you stupid. I'm sorry. He's a lot faster now. Oh no, it, it took down the evidence. Okay, here we go. Got this time. I love this music. I wish the fly couldn't actually just fly at me. Quite rude. No! Okay. Oh shit. Oh, okay, so now he's gonna start doing stupid shit at me. Shit, okay. Okay, up, up. No, there's platforms. Okay, where's this one going? So over and down. Oh! Okay. There we go. No! Okay. Up there. Got it. Okay. Woof! Okay, gotta watch out for that platform. I like to... Uh, Bump. Okay. Okay, he's over there. Cool. Oof. Honestly, I think this part's easier than the fly. Can I make it? Yes. Okay. There we go. I'm starting to like move with it again. That's when I know I'm like really getting into it. Okay. What? Lasers! Fuck him up. Make it, make it, make it. Okay, no! Ah! Okay, make it, make it. Take me over. Okay. Fuck. Okay. 
Okay, so, okay, ooh, that's nice. Very, very convenient. Up, off. Okay, it's somewhere on that side. Oh, it's on the top again. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Woo! <laughs> the laser. My man. Okay, gotta wait for the platform to take me up. Okay. There we go! Redemption! I did it! Yeah! Let's pump our fists a little bit. Whoop, 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 whoop. My eyes. The angel did it! Hell was saved. The tribal, or the trial, ha! <laughs> trial brought up a lot of evidence against the directors. They were proven guilty by the angel and arrested for their crimes of conspiracy and corruption. But in a turn of events, a new participant in the plot to sell hell was discovered. Metatron, the angel who was responsible for guarding all of uh, Heaven's knowledge and the Game Master's chambers. Turns out he used the knowledge to make a deal with the demons to have a stake in hell's sale. Our hero, the angel, was actually a victim. Metatron made the angel fall after eavesdropping on a conversation between him and Baphomet. The angel lost their memory in the fall. It was supposed to be a perfect plan, but the angel's determination won in the end. After the trial, Lucifer started leaving his den more and more. The employees of Hell, or at Hell, needed a leading figure after the three bosses were arrested. Our hero got to prove their value and become an angel once again. But the angel, who is now an angel officially, gets permission to visit their friends in hell whenever they want. Heaven and hell are at peace once for once and for all, or at least until the next apocalyptic event. Uh, I did a hell is saved. Apparently hell is just a big casino. I like that little ending sequence. I'm trying to run, uh, run away from the fly. I'm really bad at first person platforming. I'm just really bad at it. I'm just, uh, I'm poo poo mama. It's no good. Oh, is there something back behind all the Behind all the machines. Oh. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Ah, now we're at the pearly gates. Why is... Why is heaven just a slot machine? Why is it a casino? <sighs> but yeah, that was really good. Uh... I think... Did I get... All the achievements? Or all the things for it? I'm missing a few. Uh... Find Polaris. To st uh, steal from a thief. Steal Cupid's bow. Oh, so just don't turn it back in. And then word of mouth. Get the max amount of followers for... Okay, so there must have been other people I could have talked to. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. 
I, I really want to know what our demon design looked like. Oh, I, I thought that was really cute. Uh, what'd you guys think? If you have any recommendations, please let me know. Um, I have another Chilla's Art game coming up. And I also have The Fridge is Red. And a few other games coming out soon. Yeah. Cool. Leave a comment. It really helps. Uh, if you could also please check out my Patreon. Uh, you can get exclusive content for as low as $1 a month. And also this helps me out. Helps me get back to Scotland. Cool. Thanks everybody. Bye.